from the Convocation Center. Coach Tim Kraft in his eighth season here with Gardner Webb, 128 and 110 overall. Coach Buck Joyner, 189 and 180 overall in his 12th season here, leading the Pirates. We have a quick stoppage in play here. Something going on at the scorer's table, but momentarily will be the first of these two games. Second game will be right here tomorrow, Joe, 12 p.m. That means we got to get a, up a little early tomorrow. Gotta hook up a little early. That's okay. It's always good to get up for some basketball here on ESPN+. Plus. We've been well rested, uh, and I hope everyone has been well rested and been able to take advantage of the holiday season with Santa was good to you. Well, I know Santa was good to a certain little girl in Virginia Beach. I heard uh, when the Celta Santa's elves was busy uh, building <laughs> gifts on Christmas Eve. Yeah, so do you get overtime for that? How does that work? No, no, there's no overtime in parenthood. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, baby girl got all her presents put together on Christmas Eve with, uh, with, with the missus, and, uh, you know, she woke up on Christmas morning ready to go. Well, here we are. The tip will come down to Hampton. Chris Shelton will track it down and find Russell Deuce Dean. Sophomore point guard will call out the opening set here for the Pirates. Comes to Warren, fourth in the conference in scoring. Good defense here from Gardner Webb showing man to man. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Dean looking for the roll man. Warren going to have to create here with five seconds. Good defense from the Bulldog. Shot up. No good. Rebound is loose. And a foul will go against Daniel Bannister. It will be his first. Team's first. Bannister listed a six foot five sophomore out of Chesapeake, Virginia. Opening possession here for Gardner Webb. Cornwall has Falco coming off the screen. 15 seconds showing for Gardner Webb. Nice motion offense here for Gardner Webb looking to create. Hampton looking to go man to man here early on. Five seconds. Strong move down low. Reed up under with the left hand and the left is good. Kareem Reed strikes first for Gardner Webb. Warren, elbow jumper, in and out, no good. Rebound to the Bulldogs and a quick outlet ahead to Terry. Gardner Webb will set up the offense. Falco goes all the way to the basket. Floater is up and over the outstretched arms of Shelton. And two quick buckets, and Gardner Webb on top. Good defense, just better offense right there by the Bulldogs. Dean with the penetration, and he'll draw the contact. Gardner with foul charge to number three, Jacob Falco. His first, team's first. Pirates. Look to penetrate. Dean going to back down Falco. Looking to create in the lane. He'll force up the floater off the mark. Rebound to Gardner Webb. Open three left corner. Back iron no good. Cornwall had a good look at it. Just couldn't knock it down. Pirates going to look to create here in transition. Warren. Nowhere to go. Baseline drive for Warren. Contact, and we're going to get a foul on, I believe, Dufiar. Two fouls on Dufiar, and as that said, Warren called for an offensive foul. Two fouls apiece here as we're under the 1740 mark here at the Convocation Center. 
nowhere to go for Cornwall was looking for the roll nowhere to go ball goes out of bounds they're going to say last touch by Hampton 17 seconds showing on the shot clock for Gardner Webb Cornwall inbounds Falco give and go good defense by Shelton Seven seconds on the shot clock. Terry drives, gets in the lane. The floater, back iron, no good. Rebound tips around. Cornwall gets it. History off the mark. Terry. That looked like it hurt. That looked like it might have hurt. Bounce back up and walk it off. There. They're going to call the foul on DeJour Dickens of Hampton. That's his first. Team third. Sub coming in for Hampton, Shaheem Anthony, six foot seven senior out of Brooklyn, will replace Bannister. Shot clock set back to 20. Quick three up and good. Lance Terry knocks down the three, but immediately starts limping. Not sure what happened if he came down on somebody, but he. Looks to be in pain, trying to limp back to his bench. And it's a 7-0 run here for the Bulldogs for these opening three minutes. I don't think he came down on anybody, man. I think he might have just come down wrong on his ankle. Yeah, hopefully he'll be okay. But as soon as he let it go, he immediately signaled to the official that he was not right. So... That's not, that's not good for the running Bulldogs. No, nah, he is assisted to the Bulldogs bench, and hopefully he'll be able to return. But as we were zoom action here, it's a 7-0 lead for Gardner-Webb. Hampton has had some good looks, just couldn't get anything to go. Anthony comes open, three, up, short, front iron, no good. Rebound control by Gardner-Webb. Williams, who just checked in for Terry, has the top of the key. Comes back to Reed. Not sure the pass was for, but Williams is able to track it down. Cornwall hesitates. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Williams, okay. shot blocked. Rebound comes to the Bulldogs. Three seconds, two, one. And a steal by Davion Warren. League leader in steals, comes away with one. Shelton, he's a three-point shooter and he knocks it down. Needed just a little bit of time, and he puts the Pirates on the board here. Seven to three, Hampton Trails. And as soon as you see one bucket drop, that's when they all start to drop. Let's see if that actually holds true for these Hampton University Pirates. Tonight. Screen and roll to Jordan Dickens wow. with a block. He basically told him that you got to come in a little stronger than that. We've got a whistle and immediate timeout here in Hampton. Bulldogs lead 7 to 3. You're watching ESPN Plus. Everybody here, get it out of control. <laughs> Call today. Back here on ESPN Plus, take a look there at Coach Buck joining his 12th season here, guiding the Pirates, and then Coach Tim Kraft in his eighth season with the running Bulldogs, two very successful coaches, both teams able to lead their respective programs to postseason play within the last few years. Obviously, last year due to the pandemic, no postseason for anyone, but prior to that, Coach Kraft took Gardner Webb to the NCAA tournament in 2019 and while members of the MEAC coach Joyner with several uh, championships and NCAA appearances here for Hampton so two of the best coaches here in the conference and we've got a whistle and a turnover uh, Mick Lanott just checked into the game Lanott stepping on the sideline and that turnover gives the ball back to Hampton who trails here seven to three yeah, talking about Tim Kraft, he's got some pretty big wins over some big schools. You're talking about Clemson, 
Purdue, Nebraska, Georgia Tech, and Wake Forest. Those are those are no sleeper schools when it comes to basketball, Matt. Not at all, not at all. And Shelton, back-to-back -back threes, pulls the Pirates within one. Falco looks to answer his three. No good. Dickens secures the rebound. Warren in transition. Playing a screen and roll here with Dickens. Pass through the leg of the defender, but stolen by Lenat. An opportunity here for Gardner Webb to put some more points on the board. But another turnover. Deuce Dean able to come away with it. Anthony thought about the three. Will penetrate. Jump stop. Jumper is short. And this frantic pace not really helping either team here. See if Gardner Webb will look to slow it down. 18 seconds showing on the shot clock. Lead is one for the Bulldogs. Let's see they take it back down into the post. Falco will travel. Right now, Garner Webb shooting 30% from the floor, 3 of 10. Pirates 28.6, 2 of 7. But the turnovers are piling up for both teams. Four for Gardner Webb, which have resulted in six Hampton points coming off from Curse Shelton. And two turnovers for Hampton resulting in three points for the running Bulldogs. And if either team wants to take control of this game, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to cut down on those turnovers, Matt. Anthony unable to knock down the three. Rebound comes all the way out to Warren. Back to Anthony working the baseline. Pass intended for Dickens. Tip stolen and Terry. Glad to see him back out there. He finds Williams, top of the key. History is no good. And another rebound for the seven-footer in DeJore Dickens. They're going to be relying on him a lot for these rebounds. Pirates will run the set. Double screen, Dickens on the drive. Ball deflected out of bounds will remain Hampton basketball as Marquise Godwin, Jr., from here in Hampton will check in. He'll replace Chris Shelton. Again, has all six points here for Hampton as we're at the 13-30 mark. Man, I've seen Hampton trying to do a lot of pick and rolls as they're, uh, as they're trying to run their off and offense right now. Ball took a bad bounce for Davion Warren, ball loose again here on the layup opportunity. Lenat will pick it up. Corner three blocked by Warren. Good hustle there on the defensive side by Davion Warren. That was good ball movement by the running Bulldogs. Next time they just got to try and get a little more arc up under that ball when they put the shot up. All right. We talked about it in the pregame, but the Pirates without Edward Oliver Hampton, one of their starting forwards, and now going to have to play a little bit of small ball as Dickens gets his first rest of the afternoon. Pirates playing five guards right now. Let's see if they can space the floor. Deuce Dean down the lane, shot is blocked. Goes out of bounds, the officials say last touch by Gardner Webb. So 19 seconds showing on the shot clock. Deuce Dean the inbound from the baseline. And Lenat Got caught. Looked like he was trying to do his best. Cornerback impersonation was trying to read the eyes of Godwin. Matt, that, that would have been uh, defensive pass interference if this was football. He didn't turn around and check to see <laughs> what the ball was at all. And when Godwin made the catch, Lenat was all over him. That's the 13 foul on Gardner Webb. Anthony comes open on this on this spot. The screen and pop is good for another three-point shot. Shaheem Anthony, nephew of Carmelo, knocks down the three. Very impressive. Hampton University shooting 60% from the line right now. I mean, from the three-point right now. Lanak loses control of the ball on the drive. Another turnover. And if he, if if Lenat, if Lenat wants to remain in this game, he's going to have to to slow it down and get control of his gameplay. He's he's costing these running bulldogs a little 
uh, momentum right now. Turnovers. Just continue to pile up for Gardner Webb as Warren crossover in the lane. Goes off the glass and the lamp is good. Lead now for the Pirates up to four, 11 to seven. Defensively, man to man look here for Hampton. Terry finds Cornwall. Nowhere to go. Cornwall got all the way to the basket. Rebound couldn't be secured by Warren, but two seconds remaining on the shot clock. Oh, nope, they're going to reset the shot clock, and we're going to the media timeout. Hampton leads 11 to 7. You're watching ESPN Plus. Media timeout, and they determined the shot by Cornwall did not hit the rim. So, as we originally said, it's two seconds on the shot clock for Gardner Webb. Trailing by four, Hampton's gone on a 5 0 run here over the last minute and mm, three seconds, give or take. Terry catching, shooting three off the mark. Rebound comes to the Pirates. Yeah, Gardner Webb came out hot and they got off to that fast start, but uh, since about uh, seven, eight minutes in, it's been all Pirates. And as you say, Damian Warren dials up another three for Hampton, and the lead is now at seven. Largest lead continues to grow here for the Pirates. This is impressive, man. Pirates shooting 66% uh, from the three-point line right now. Accounted for the majority of their points. Dribble driving an offensive foul will be called against Gardner Webb. It's going to be against Mann. It'll be his first. Fourth team foul on Gardner Webb. 11 minutes in the half remain. Warren, dribble drive. Reset here for Deuce Dean. Gowan will put it on the floor. Warren this time had a hand in his face and the jumper was short. Falco had the ball poked away. They're going to say last touched by Hampton. Twenty-five seconds showing on the shot clock here for Gardner Webb. Cornwall, three-pointer from the left side, in and out, no good. Man, offensive rebound, layup rims out, shot blocked from behind, but a whistle and a foul. That one's gonna be on twenty-three, Daniel Bannister. 6'5 sophomore out of Chesapeake, Virginia. His second. And as we take a look at Gardner Webb shooting free throws, they're they're number two in the conference right now. Shooting just under 70% per game while uh Hampton's down down around seven. They're shooting about 67% per game. So um, as, as you always hear me say, free throws are going to win ball games. And the way that these two, two teams are scoring, 
points per game just about. Uh, free throws might play, play out for this one. That might determine the game. Dickens returns to the lineup after Bannister picked up his second. Great block there by Gardner Webb. Quick outlet. Sears, three pointer top of the key. No good. Godwin will secure it here for the Pirates. Fourteen to eight. Our score midway here through the first half. Dickens skips to Godwin. Anthony, jump shot in the lane, goes around the defender, off the glass, and it's good for Shaheem Anthony. Five points off the bench, and the lead goes to eight for Hampton. That was a big power move. That was very nice. And they come right back down with the hard foul. Cornwall able to penetrate, draw the foul. I believe that's going to be on Dickens. And that's his second. We talked about the Pirates and how the injuries are affecting them and Dickens will come out after this free throw attempt as it looks like Raymond Bethea Jr. transfer from Howard University will come into the ball game and he's going to replace Deuce Dean so coach Joyner all right no I think there was a mistake Davion quickly goes back to the scores table Yeah, Dickens was supposed to come out, but Davion Warren came out of the game. So free throws are good for Cornwall. Sixteen ten. Dean finds Anthony catching, shooting from the right corner, in and out, no good. Cornwall will push here for Gardner Webb. All the way downhill, Sears comes open. Three, no good. Dickens will secure the rebound for Hampton. And right now, Gardner Webb needs to look to penetrate the lane a little bit more. They're, they're only shooting 9% uh, from the three-point line. So uh, when you see that's not working for you and you can't get Terry open like you want to, you need to take it to the hole. Godwin with the free throw line jumper. First field goal for Marquise Godwin. Lead goes back to eight for Hampton. Sears, right wing, finds man. Ball goes around the horn. The jumper from Cornwall, no good. Rebound, Hampton. Godwin with it again. Whistle and a foul down low. Looks like it will be charged to Jordan Sears, freshman out of Florida. Gardner Webb's trying to pick up their, intense, their, their defensive intensity right now, but they got to do it without drawing fouls. They're, they're already down right now. They don't want to get into a situation where Hampton's now going to the line to, to capitalize on, you know, silly mistakes. Dickens will have a seat. Warren will finally check in for him. Deuce Dean down low. Layup no good, but Bethea's tipping just rattled out. It was halfway down. Sears looks to penetrate, kick out, three, left wing is up, no good, and the three-point shooting rolls continue here for Gardner-Webb. Davion Warren has a mismatch, tries to go baseline, pass is deflected, stolen by the Bulldogs. Transition bucket is good for Dufial. And if I'm if I'm Coach Joyner right now, I'm okay with not taking that foul. I am okay with that. You don't need one of your best players picking up a, a, a frivolous foul when you're on this streak that you're on right now. Dean had Anthony. Anthony just couldn't hold on to the pass, and I don't take us to the timeout. Pirates lead is six. You're watching ESPN Plus. We'll be back. cancer. I was given only three options of treatment, prostatectomy, cryotherapy, standard radiation.
Back here on ESPN Plus, Matt White, Joe Walters here. We'll take a look at Davion Warren, the reigning Big South player of the week. Right now with five points, coming on two of five, shooting from the floor, one of two from three to go along with two rebounds, one block, and one steal. So a pretty impressive stat line here as we're under seven and a half minutes left in the half. Pirates lead is six in this Big South matchup with conference rival Gardner Webb. Terry's drive to the basket. He's denied at the rim, but a whistle and a foul. And I think that's what I'm going to want to see from Gardner Webb first. Probably the duration of this uh, of this half is them trying to get into the into the lane a little bit more because they are not shooting the ball well from outside at all right now. You see Terry trying to be proactive and and take the ball down and get his two points the the old fashioned way. Foul was on Bethea, his first free throw up and good for Terry on the season. He's about an 86% free throw shooter. Give them both. Lance Terry right now, five points, leading his team in scoring. He's one of four from the floor that came from behind the three-point line right before he looked like he tweaked his ankle. Glad to see him back out here. Hampton's lead is four. Bulldog showing a bit of a zone here. Pirates subbed in number 32, Najee Thomas. Recent addition to the team this year. Shelton comes open. Three-pointer is good. Right now, Shelton with three made buckets from the land of three. He's got nine points on three or three shooting. Sears drives, layup no good. They're gonna get Najee Thomas on a foul as Reed working hard on the offensive glass there for the Bulldogs. He'll go to the free throw line and he'll have two free throws. Hampton looks like the Bucks from the other night, Matt. They, I think the Bucks the other night rang up something like 29 three-pointers. And right now Hampton is just going off, right? They're, they're, they're eight, from, eight of 20 from the beyond the three, shooting 40%. First free throw. Reed back iron and no good. On the season, Reed now, well, ending today's game, he was two of seven. That was good for 29%. He's now two of eight with one more on the way here. He misses them both. Long rebound will be secured by Deuce Dean. Lead is seven for the Pirates. Six and a half to go. Pirates being very patient here on offense. Davion Warren will dial up another three. Side of that rim, no good. Sears, rebound, pushes up the near sideline. Gardner Webb looking to get a field goal here. They've gone quite a while without one. Nice cut. Williams spinning in the lane. He was stripped by Warren, but they're going to call the foul on Shelton, I believe. And I want to say during that last media timeout, I think uh, Coach Kraft just told him, hey, stop shooting the ball from outside. We need to get inside, draw some fouls, get some buckets. That's exactly what they're doing right now. And they're slowly trying to creep back into this game. Williams. A 67% free throw shooter. Six of nine coming into today's contest. And right now the free throw line is what's keeping Gardner Webb in the game as a team. Six of nine from the floor shooting 17% are the running Bulldogs. Four of 23. Both free throws good for Williams. And as, as we can see, Hampton University has not gone to the free throw line tonight. They also haven't been trying to get any points in the paint. The majority of their points have come from the outside. As right on cue, we're talking about them scoring, and they're just continuing the hot streak and hitting every single shot from behind the three-point line right now. Shelton from way outside. Lead for Hampton back to eight. And again, the Pirates will look to work the ball around the perimeter. Warren. 
Looks inside for Thomas, now drives. Pass from the last minute. Thomas lost control of it, got it back. The jumper no good. Falco will run the show here for Gardner Webb. Gets all the way to the bucket. Good, strong basket there for Jacob Falco, the junior out of Northeast Maryland. It's his second field goal and the first field goal in a, quite a while here for Gardner Webb. Deuce Dean finds Thomas who blows the down, comes back to Deuce Dean who gets the layup to go and we got a whistle and a timeout call by Hampton. And I think in this uh, timeout we're gonna, we're, we might end up hearing Coach Joyner tell him, hey, you can't miss dunks like that. You yeah. can't miss dunks, you just gotta go ahead and lay it up. Yeah, Deuce Dean set up Thomas perfectly and Thomas unable to push it down, but if you're a Hampton fan, at least they were able to come away with those two points. We've got a 30 second timeout here, so let's take a look around the rest of the conference. Tipping off in just under 30 minutes, UNC Asheville will be at Longwood. Campbell will be at Winthrop. Winthrop right now 5 and 0 overall, 2 and 0 in the Big South. Campbell 4 and 3, and this will be their first conference game of the season and tipping off later today Radford will be at Presbyterian at 5 p.m. and South Carolina Upstate will be at High Point that game at 6. All the games will be broadcast right here live on ESPN Plus. And once again a reminder tomorrow we'll have the rubber game of this series between Gardner Webb and Hampton will be right here at noon on New Year's Eve. Falco in the lane again. Nice setup, but the pass was deflected away from Reed. He was able to get it back. He has a mismatch guarded by Deuce Dean, and Deuce Dean reaches in, and I believe he forced the travel. Yeah, his, he just got caught up just now. Reed, Reed got caught up, and he didn't have anywhere to go with the ball, and that's normally what happens when Yeah, I think Reed up. realized he had the mismatch, and I think uh, Dean... Pull the old pull the chair out from under you right as Reed went to make a move. Dean backed away from him and it caused caused him to lose his balance. Ball deflected out of bounds. Will remain with Hampton. See with that left hand pass, Matt. You should have been in the game, buddy. Now I know my role. <laughs> right over here next to you, just talking. <laughs> 435 to go. Hampton's lead is eight. Davion Warren tries to create something there. Reed with a strong rebound. And here come the running Bulldogs. Williams leaves it to Sears. Nice move in the lane. Layup through two defenders is stolen. Deuce Dean goes out to Shelton. Shelton, first miss of the game, but an offensive putback for Thomas. In and out, no good. Marquise Dowling will come away with it. And Hampton will reset. At the four minute mark, two good looks at the basket for Hampton, couldn't get him to fall. Third chance is the chime, they say, as Dean loses control. And Williams will be fouled by Dean, and that will send Gardner Webb back to the free throw line. This will be the 19th foul on Hampton. Not a smart foul there by Russell Dean. That'll take us to the media timeout 26 to 18. You're watching ESPN. Plus. Back here on ESPN Plus where it's been all Chris Shelton here, Joe, just living from behind the three-point line. You can't you can't teach that. You cannot teach a pure shooter like that. And once a pure shooter touches fire, it's gonna be hard to stop him. And as you can see, well, he's got what he, he's four four from behind the three. He's shooting hundred percent from the from the three. Ten minutes of play, four or five has twelve points to yeah. the pirates right now leading them. He's going to be unstoppable. Yeah, his only miss came just a few minutes ago when Gardner Webb was able to successfully run him off the three-point line, and he did a, uh, a pull-up jumper. Williams misses the free throw, and it's Hampton basketball. 
inside. Warren working on the block. Up under layup is no good, but they will call a block as Terry tried to take the charge. And that's what I like to see from, from Terry. He's still out there. He had the little uh, injury issue earlier in the game. And he's still out there trying to be aggressive and make plays. He's going to be a big, big part of this uh, Gardner Webb offense. First free throw up and good for Davion Warren. Just taking a look at the replay real quick. Warren, about a 78% free throw shooter so far this season. Pushes the lead to nine for Hampton, and he splits the free throws. Reed will bring it down for Gardner Webb. Cornwall has Williams in the wing. Go down little Reed. Reed loses the layup, I think, going on the way up. He had a clean shot at the basket, just couldn't get it all the way in. Warren takes advantage in transition. No one stopped the basketball, and Davion Warren pushes the lead now to double figures for the Pirates. Very nice take to the rim. Terry in the lane, splits two defenders, and successfully draws contact. I believe it's going to be on Juice Dean. Take another look at it here. Good work. Terry down there in the land of bigs, able to use that savvy to create some space, find a lane, and draw contact. Free throw is good. Coach Kraft can be pleased with his team's free throw shooting. It's really what's kept them in this ball game. As the lead now is 10. Gardner Webb shooting 66% from the free throw line. Now 9 of 13. From the floor, it's a different story. Gardner Webb 5 of 26, but that almost 70% free throw shooting is what's got Gardner Webb trailing by just 9. Yeah, and we'll put them in the hole. We'll put Gardner Webb in the hole is the three-point shooting, one of 14, abysmal right now. Marquise Godwin, he'll take a three. His shot is off the mark, no good. Terry will push it here. Far sideline for Gardner Webb. That he comes open, he'll take the open look, and it's good. Lance Terry, hand down, man down. Hampton cannot let that man get hot. Top three this point. Can, this can turn into a real ugly game real quick if he continues to get open shots like that. Top three-point shooter in the conference. Makes Hampton pay there. Lead down to six. Godwin will take another long jumper. It's a two, but Marquise Godwin with his second field goal. Lead goes back to eight. Cornwall creates room. Layup with the offhand, no good. Fast break opportunity, three on two. Warren looks to drive. They're going to call a blocking foul on Terry. Terry. That's his third? I think it's just his second, but we'll wait. Second. That is his second. <laughs> so Warren will go to the free throw line. I believe he'll be shooting two. I know they're going to say he was on the floor. Yeah, Terry's going to take a seat. Yeah, Terry doesn't want to risk picking up a third foul here. We'll take another look at it. Davion Warren right down the middle of the floor. And yeah, they're gonna say the pat the foul was on the pass. So one and one opportunity here for Warren, and he misses the first free throw rebound to the Bulldogs. All free throws are gonna be crucial for Hampton. Warren reaching, not able to get the ball. However, a, lot of a foul on Anthony down low. That, that was a lot of contact just now. I heard all the slaps in the air. Williams. We'll head to the free throw line. Williams, a 67% free throw shooter, averages almost seven and a half points per game. Free throw is good. The 
31-24, make it 25. A minute 40 left in the first half. Just over 90 seconds left. Baby on one through traffic. Wow. I'm surprised he didn't get the end one for that. You're not the only one. Coach Joyner was looking for the call too, but Williams comes right back. And he knocks down a three. 33-28. It's a five-point advantage. Warren will dive it up from three short. Williams and Cornwall with a bit of a two-man game. Falco gives it up. 20 seconds. Cornwall down the lane, able to get penetration and position there on Bryce Earl, and the layup is good. And just like that, we've got a three-point game, Matt. 33-30. Under a minute to go. Warren down the lane again. Floater is good. Right now, Davion Warren getting whatever he wants at the basket. And we're going to be looking for him to take over the game in the second half for sure. And Coach Tim Kraft will call the timeout here with 38.8 seconds left. Shot clock shows 25 seconds, so just under 14 second difference between the game and the shot clock. So potentially another possession for either team. 35-30, our score. Gardner-Webb starting to find some rhythm offensively. 88 for 30 from the floor. Three of 16 from behind the three-point line. And two of those here within the last few possessions, Joe. So just when Hampton was able to extend to a double-digit lead, Gardner-Webb able to find some offense here. And they've done it by penetrating the back, penetrating the hole, creating opportunities at the free throw line, and capitalizing on that. Right. Hampton's going to have to to not try to come back down the floor every time Gardner Webb hits a three with the uh, anything you can do, I can do better mindset because that's how they allow teams to get back in the game. So yeah, Hampton's know. largest lead was at 11. They had it at just three minutes ago, but since then, when they led 29 to 18. A nice run here, almost a 12 to four run here for the Bulldogs. They go down low, Williams wide open in the paint. Back iron no good, Marquise Godwin will secure the rebound. And almost, the shot clock is turned off. That was almost too wide open. Yeah, Williams was, it almost looked like it was a breakdown of the defense. And I yeah. think he was a little surprised just how open he was. Davion Warren with eight seconds. Puts it on the floor, pull up jumpers, good. Davion Warren is good. Pushes the lead back to seven. The half court heave from Goldwater is off the mark. Warren. And that will take us to halftime. Your score at the half. Hampton leads 37 to 30. Davion Warren with 14. 12 points for Chris Shelton. Garner Webb led by Terry with 10. And Williams with seven. That'll take us to halftime. Keep it right here. You see Davion Warren jump up one last Thanks, time. Man. As we head to halftime, you're watching ESPN Plus. So And that's what you're going to have to do. Anytime you're trying to run your offense from outside the three-point line and the shots aren't dropping and you get down big, you just start, got, you got to start going into the hole. You, you just got to start driving and creating opportunities that are, that are a lot closer to the basket and can land you at the free throw line. 
opening possession will belong to the Bulldogs. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Shot up and the layup is good. Great focus down low by Dufial. That was a nice power move by the full. Ludovic Yeah, the six foot eight forward able to get it over the outstretched arms of the seven foot Dickens. And it's back to a five point advantage for Hampton. Pirates come out with their starting five. The Wooden Bulldogs also with their starting unit. Chris Shelton, second leading scorer for Hampton. He's got 12. Pass deflected. Goes out of bounds and it's last touched by Terry with just one second. Oh, no, they're going to change the call. Wait a minute. The officials are pointing each way. Now it looks like it will be Hampton basketball. One second showing on the shot clock. See if the Pirates are able to get anything going towards the basket. They're going to lob it for Dickens. It's deflected and Gardner Webb will come away with it. It was a tough situation there for Hampton with just one second. At least the Pirates knew where to go with the ball. But good defense there by Gardner Webb denying the seven footer chance for tipping. Yeah, Gar Gardner Webb's coming out and they're, they want to be aggressive on both ends. Uh, they've already begun to cut into the lead a little bit. Now they're just looking to retake the lead that they once held. Falco oh. really traveled with it. Cornwall looking down low to Reed. I don't, I don't know if I would have called that a foul. Yeah, that was a tough call, Reed. With a swing through, Dejour picks up his third personal. That just looks like looked like some some uh, some playground ball between two two defenders. Najee Carter will return to the floor. The refs could have definitely let that one play out. Cornwall on the inbound. Falco comes open. Terry catching, shooting, three, no good. Pirates could have got burned on that one. Warren, a little slow on the closeout. He tried to overpower Terry right there. Fast break opportunity, Cornwall will take the long jumper. Shot is up and good. And just like that, they cut the lead down to two. Martin the Webb says, we're coming back Three out to play. Jaheim. We're going to win. 5-0 run to start the second half for the running Bulldogs. Free throw line jumper. Warren. 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 He's Warren. looking to continue his hot streak from that late second ha uh, first half run that he had. Cornwall tried another three-pointer. No good. Warren in transition. Steps through and easy Ooh. slam for Davion Warren. That was beautiful. Nice take, coast to coast. Pirates answer with a quick 4 0 run of their own. Reed just easily steps through and left two points off the board. It was an easy layup for him. He got what he wanted, just didn't finish the layup. Dean. Back to Shelton. Shelton will spot up from three. And the hot streak continues. Three for Chris Shelton. And in that whole sequence, Reed is going to have to score the easy buckets if, if Gardner Webb is going to win. And Hampton's going to have to continue to knock down those open threes. Chris Shelton remains perfect from behind the three-point line. Five of five. Five of six overall. I'm surprised we haven't seen... Chris Terry going a streak like that yet. Yeah. That from Mitchell Terry, dribble drive out to Falco. Lance Terry, I'm sorry, I called him Chris Terry. Layup is short, ball is loose, and it will be a foul on Gardner Webb. Gardner Webb foul on Ludovic Dufial, his second team the foul. The foul is on Dufial, that's his second first team foul here in the second half. 2-2-1 two, two, full court press here from Gardner Webb.
Pirates call out the set here with 15 seconds showing on the shot clock. Gardner Webb going back to the zone. Deuce with six seconds. Goes inside to Carter. Carter jump stop. Contact, no call. Ball on the floor. It's going to be tied up for a jump ball. As Anthony Selden will check into the ball game for Gardner Webb. Looks like he will replace Reed. It's 20 seconds on the shot clock for Hampton as Anthony will check in for Najee Carter. Dean looking to penetrate. Finds Davion Warren spinning in the lane. Lamp is good. Unstoppable. He is unstoppable. 18 points Davion now. Or make it 20 Warren. points now for Davion Warren. There was a breakdown there defensively, but another blow layup by Gardner Webb results in a fast break opportunity for Hampton. And a foul on Gardner Webb as Bannister is going to the basket. That's on number 24. DPL. Media and that takes out. us to the media Brandon timeout. The lead is back to 11 for the Pirates. You're watching ESPN Plus. I need to do something else. Can I get a proton therapy? Hampton University proton therapy. Ride on our string. We're back here in Hampton. Five of five this afternoon from behind the three-point line. And we talked about the injury to Edward Oliver Hampton. And you see Daniel Bannister Jr. stepping into the lineup here today, making some plays here at the free throw line. Going back to Davion, he is deceptively fast. He looks like he, he just wants to put you to sleep when he runs. But he is very fast. Another play made by Bannister. And Chris Shelton there on the spot for the tip-in. Nice. So very, very nice. Pirates finding ways to make impacts Tip in here. Shelton. We push this lead up to 14. First uh, field goal that wasn't a three for uh, Shelton. And Warren nearly came away with the steal. But they're going to get him for the reach. Hampton foul on number three, Davion Warren, his second. Foul team on second. Warren is his second, team second. And as we were saying earlier in the game, that uh, the Garden Web is going to want to stay in this game. They're going to have to continue to do what they were doing in the first half and hitting their free throws. They dropped to 11 to 16, uh, 12 of 17, excuse me, from the free throw department. So they got to keep getting back to the line if they don't want to hit from outside. Yeah. Five minutes gone by here in the second half. Hampton now on a 12 to 6 run. Gardner Webb open with the 5 0 run, cut to within one. Woo! Dean. With the They're going to wave the basket off and say the foul was on the floor. They, they can wave it off. It was still pretty. Gardner Webb foul on number five. That Jermaine still Mann is second. Thing. Good effort Team by five. Dean. Pirates quickly get it in. Anthony. Warren will look to set it up. Bannister will take the long jumper. His three off the mark. No good. Rebound out to Falco. Falco. 
Foreign wall, Sheldon, exchange it. Nice behind the back move. Cornwall trying to create space. Double teamed. Man, who just came back into the ball game, finds Cornwall for three shot, no good. Shelton outlet Warren. Warren will look to set up. And a whistle and a foul. Coach Tim Kraft. Not a fan of that call, and I understand why. When you heard that contact, I think we all heard the ball, but everybody heard it. Everyone but the person who mattered the most. <laughs> and Marquis Godwin will check into the ball game. The foul charge to Williams is his first. 14 foul on Gardner Webb. Godwin replaces Bannister. Warren. Loses control, Falco in the lane, jump stop, his lip is short, got his own rebound, but Deuce Dean touched the ball while he's standing on the baseline and the ball will remain with Gardner Webb. Yeah, that, that should have been a foul down on the other end. Uh, he, he did that with that, to me, did not look like a clean strip. Yeah, officials might have missed one that possession. Gardner Webb with it with 16 seconds on the shot clock. Sheldon, nice crossover move, gets all the way to the bucket. Very nice. And the layup is good. He was looking for an and one. Lead back to 11 for Hampton. Anthony Selden. Gardner Webb wants to cut into this lead even further. That, they're going to have to do more of what they just did, which is taking the ball to the hole. I don't care what they have to do. Warren, thought about the three, penetrates, sets up Shelton. Three left side, good. Chris Shelton on, on fire. 52-38. Six made three-point bucket for Shelton. Sheldon tries to answer for Gardner Webb, but man will control the offensive board for the running Bulldogs. Williams will take a three. In and out, no good. Damian Warren tips it to himself. And the Pirates again push, and they'll get man on the blocking foul in transition. Gardner Webb's trying to come back down and answer threes like they've been hitting them all night, Gardner which they have not been. They are 4 of 23 five. from the three-point line, 17%. You can't fifth. try to shoot your way back into this thing when you got Hampton shooting at 50% from beyond the three. It's just not possible right now. Coach Kraft needs to calm his players down, let them know that, hey, we need to be more aggressive going to the paint, and start doing it. That's it. That foul was on man, his third. Pirates go to their smaller lineup again. Five guards on the floor. Warren tries to create, finds Marquise Godwin. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Deuce gonna drive. Contact, no call. Rebound comes Falco, he'll push. Cornwall thought about the three, now finds Williams. Cornwall give and go his three way off the mark. Rebound control by the Pirates. This is terrible shooting by the, by the running Bulldogs right now. Bannister will take the three in rhythm. Off the mark, no good. Williams will bring it up to the far sideline. Cross midcourt, Cornwall down the middle, little lane to the top, and the lamp is good. They need more of that. The running Bulldogs need more of the type Johnny of offense Cornwall. that they just had. Either they're gonna score off of, uh, off of taking it to the hole during an offensive possession or off of a fast break. Jaheim Cornwall with nine points. Brings the Bulldogs back within 12. One penetrates, floater in the lane, short. Rebound, outlet now Cornwall. Cornwall looking to drive. Williams left open in the corner. Off the mark, rebound, put back, no good. Marquise Godwin comes away with it. Eleven twenty to go. Subs for both teams waiting to check in as Deuce Dean will slow things down. See Coach Joyner working the official as well as Coach Kraft. Both looking for some calls in these last few possessions that very easily could have gone either way. See Falco clapping his hands on defense, trying to hype his team up so that they, they can get a stop. Deuce Dean drop off the banister and that'll be a shot clock violation. And that will take us to the media timeout. Pirates on top by 12. Media You're watching ESPN+. Timeout. Plus. We do this every day for men suffering from prostate cancer. Forever. 
DQ. Happy tastes good. Back here on ESPN Plus, Matt White, Joseph Walters. Take a quick look around some scores around the conference. We're just under eight to go in the first half. Longwood leads 26-16 over UNC Asheville. And about halfway through the first half, Campbell on top of Winthrop, 16 to 11. And you see Coach Buck joining there. 12th season as the Pirates head coach. Gardner Webb with the ball, trailing by 12. Jenkins returns to the floor, and a good screen gets Terry open, and he knocks down three -pointer his third made three-pointer. And just like that, it's down to single digits for the Bulldogs. Bannister just fell on that play. That's where the defense was, which left Terry wide open for that three. Bulldogs sticking with man-to-man -man defense here, going to try and Make another stop, and they're going to get a whistle, and it looks to be a reach-in foul on Gardner-Webb. I believe they're going to call that on Jordan Sears. Foul on number two, Jordan Sears, his second it's team his six. second 16 foul, so the next foul on Gardner-Webb will put Hampton in the bonus. And right now, Hampton's only winning this half by two points, so Gardner-Webb doesn't have too much work cut out for them if they can if they can win this quarter by a lot. Coach Joyner, not a fan of the call. He wants Hampton foul number it five, to be Dejan reviewed, Dickens, his but fourth. I don't think that's going to happen. Third. Yeah, the, the refs have been making some uh, calls today. They've been making some calls. A lot of confusion here. And we'll resume action here. Sears. Goes right. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Williams comes off the screen, guarded by Bethea. He'll pop the three, short, rebound secured by Deuce Dean. Under 10 to go, lead at nine. Largest lead was 14 for Hampton and Bannister. Just like that, instant off. And Bannister. Puts two more on the board, lead back to 11 for Hampton. Sears will take the three, and he drills it. Jordan Sears, the freshman out of three Florida, Florida with the big bucket, brings it back to single-digit deficit for Gardner-Webb as we reach the nine-minute mark here in the second half. Gardner-Webb must have had a conversation at the bench. But you didn't include Davion Warren being left wide Davion open at the left Warren. elbow. Back to 10 is the lead. The Bulldog thing don't want to exchange baskets, trailing by double figures here. Uh, the, the Pirates seem to have broken the code to that zone defense that the running Bulldogs are playing. Terry was tied up, but the officials will call the foul on Juice Dean. They're going to say he was in the act of shooting. Hampton foul on number one, Juice Dean, his third. 
incredible. Dean's third. Incredible. That, that, that to me that looked like a jump ball. That, that looked like a jump ball. Terry at the free throw line, about an 86% free throw shooter. Pass one is good. Both free throws are good and the lead is eight. Full court pressure coming from Gardner Webb, the 2-2-1, two, two, but there. Middle of the lane goes to the bucket. Contact, no call. Bannister put back is good. Two quick field goals from Bannister. Dan the Pirates Bannister. are making breaking the press from uh, the running Bulldogs look way too easy. Sears going all the way to the basket. And the left is no good, but a foul call. I believe it will be on Bannister. Hampton foul on number 23, Dan Bannister, his third. And that's his third. Team fifth. Fifth team foul. So he, Anthony, will head to the score center. He'll look to check in as you see Bannister called for the personal on the layup opportunity from Sears. Free throw, no good. On the year, Sears was perfect. It was four for four. Now four for five on the year. Got Anthony checking back into the game for the Pirates. Second free throw is good. Vantage down to nine for Hampton. Zone look again here from Gardner Webb. Pirates swinging around. Dean in the lane. Anthony left wide open on the switch. Three is up. That guy no good, but Danny Bannister tips it right to Chris Shelton. And again, it might Chris not Shelton. be pretty, but the Pirates' second chance opportunities continue to be affected. Shelton down the lane, blows a layup. Anthony will secure the rebound and will wisely slow it down. Pirates lead is 11 with momentum under seven and a half remaining in the ball game. Pirates knocking down these outside shots and rebounding is what has them building the lead back up to 11 right now. I'm and sorry, 13. Timeout, and a timeout called by Gardner Webb. It's going to become the media timeout. So we're going to take a break. Pirates on top here at home. You're watching ESPN Plus. here on ESPN Plus, and it's been all Pirates here in the second half. Bannister, Warren, Anthony, Shelton all chipping in for the Pirates who lead 62 to 49. Largest lead for Hampton was 14, but it's pretty much been all Hampton here, Joe. The largest lead for Gardner Webb came when they led 7-0 and haven't led in this ball game since they led by the score seven to six, and since then it's been all Hampton. And every time Gardner Webb thinks they're gonna get right back into the game, Hampton denies that effort and goes on a run and basically shows them, hey, not in our house, we're the ball here. Foul, and we've got a whistle, and it looks like we've got a media timeout. 7.06 to go, Pirates on top, we'll be back. Media timeout. Why he dying? No lie, that don't help him. 
Back here on ESPN Plus. Pirates on top, 62 to 49. 22 points apiece for Davion Warren and Chris Shelton. While he might not be scoring a lot of points today, Juice Dean right now with 12 assists. And he's knocking on the door of history as, according to the Pirates record book, seven times Deron Powers came in eighth with 12 assists in a game. And an offensive foul against Gardner Webb. You see Warren out here doing it all. Scoring, making plays on the defense, drawing fouls. his third. Yeah, the foul charged to Beefy All, it's his third, 17 foul. Deuce Dean, pass Anthony. Anthony will take the three. It is good. So that's assist wow. number 13. For Deuce Dean. Wow. So he, Anthony. He is a knockdown shooter. Look like his look like his uncle on that one, did Shaheen Anthony, but a quick layup answered right back by the Bulldogs. Little hints of mellow. <laughs> Lance Terry with the layup. Terry with the layup. He's got 17. He's been a pretty quiet 17. You don't say that too often, but it's a 14 point advantage for Hampton. It's only quiet because they've had to do a lot of their work from the line, Matt. And he gets a block right there. Great defense. Terry looking to get all the way to the bucket. Lamp is good. Lance and you make a good point. Terry said, the game is not over. Yeah. Don't count us out. Six of his 19 from the free throw line. As Dean. He'll take a jumper. Front iron, no good. Rebound, Sears. Quick outlet, Williams down low. Do we all might have gotten away with the travel, but a timeout will be called here by Coach Joyner. Quick run here by the Bulldogs. Still a double-digit advantage for Hampton at 65 to 55. And I like this timeout from Coach Joyner. You see the other team's about to go on a little run. You go ahead and stop it. 544 left in the second half. Pirates with a 10-point lead. Both coaches talking it over. Coach Kraft trying to figure it out with his team. How can we get back in this game, guys? Well, you can't you can't shoot from the outside because you know that hasn't been working for you this game. You've got Lance Terry that's trying to do it and will his team all the way back into this game. So all they can continue to do right now is Drive to the hole, pick up some fouls, get to the line, make some free throws, and hopefully Hampton will uh, hopefully Hampton will miss a few shots on with their uh, with their offensive possessions. Coming out of the timeout, Deuce Dean will be we'll say accompanied by Sears across the timeline. Five and a half to go. Still a lot of basketball to be played here. Sahim Anthony. Didn't look for the pass, and Davion Warren gives it away. Selden, shot is blocked by Dickens. Ball loose, comes back to Williams. Crossover in the lane. Shot up, no good. Secured by the Pirates, and Pirates avoid disaster there. Dean in the lane, looks for the roll man, nowhere to go. Goes with the left hand, lay up, no good. Rebound to the Bulldogs. Under five to go. Terry, left wing. Comes back, Sears. Sheldon will spot up for three. No good. Rebound secured by the Pirates. And Deuce D will look to slow things down here. As we inch toward the four and a half minute mark. Momentum right now belonging to the Bulldogs. Anthony comes open, catch and shoot, three. Front iron, no good. Rebound to the Bulldogs. Selden driving, and a block will be the call, and it will be free throws here for Gardner Webb. Selden tried to Euro step, it didn't look too Euro. 
Anthony Sullivan will head to the free throw line. Shooting two. So far, Sullivan entering today's contest was two of two from the free throw line. He missed one earlier today, so two. One made the first one right here. Godwin will return to the game for Anthony. As well as Williams will get a breather for the Bulldog. Cornwall will return to the floor. Both free throws good for Gardner Webb. Back to a single digit deficit. Matt, what I don't want to see the Pirates do right now, if they would like to win this game, is slow the game down too much and not put their foot on their opponent's neck. They got to keep the, the, the pedal on the gas. Sheldon, first miss from three, and we're going to have a whistle on the rebound. They're going to call Dickens on a foul on the rebound. Hampton foul on number five. I, I believe it's number five on Dickens. It's a tough call there. That hurts. They're going to miss his height. They're going to miss that man's height. So not only do they lose Dickens, but they put Gardner Webb back at the free throw. And the free throw is good. Shoot 18 of 24. Looking to go 19 of 25. Cut back into this lead even more. Both free throws good. Man will return to the floor for the Bulldogs. 65-59 our score. Long entry pass will come into Deuce Dean. Under four minutes to go. Pirates need to get a bucket here to stop the momentum. Bannister goes with the offhand and the layup. No good, but he draws contact. And we're going to the last media timeout. Hampton leading 65-59. You're watching foul, ESPN. Number five, Jermaine Mann, his fourth teammate media timeout. Watch Sky 4, your home for Hampton University basketball. Save the date, December 31st at 12 noon. The Hampton... We'll be at the free throw line, shooting two on the season. And it's 0 for 1 from the free throw line. Joe, you talk about it all game long. Free throw is so very crucial, especially here in these final minutes. Yeah, I mean, if, if Hampton is going to want to keep the lead that they have, they're always going to, if they if they continue to get to the foul line, they're going to have to convert on all their free throws. If they are unable to, then guard the web, if they continue to draw the contacts that they've been able to get, Get to the free throw line, convert, get back in this game, and could possibly tie this thing up in a couple possessions. Well, the second basket's waved off. Bannister, lane violation. Not too often you see the shooter call for the lane violation like that. But to your point, Gardner Webb, 19 of 25 from the free throw line. Hampton now 3 of 6. As Terry finds Sears, 3.5 to go. Selden in the lane. Pass nearly stolen by Warren. Cornwall in the lane, trying to find someone. Step through, shot is up, missed it. Bannister knocked to the floor. And we're going to have more free throws. He's trying to walk it off right now. Bannister looks a little dizzy coming up right now. But, uh, his first he's going to be able to walk it off and shoot his free throws. Foul's going to be called on 
Selden. Bannister at the free throw line. One and one opportunity here. Take another look at it here. See Cornwall with the step through. First free throw, good. One more here for the sophomore out of Chesapeake. Crucial free throws for the Pirates, for the Bulldogs. Not what you want to see. Lead is nine for Gardner Webb. I mean, for Hampton. Gardner Webb trails by nine. See, he's in the lane to just lay up no good. Chris Sheldon will secure the rebound. And Deuce Dean will find Warren. Sears is just a little out of control on his offensive sets right now, but that's the that's the uh, experience that you get when you play a freshman sometimes. Warren catching shooting three, good. I was just going to say we hadn't said Davion Warren's name three in a while, Davion and just Warren. like that, Warren knocks down his second three-pointer and may have just pushed this one out of Time reach out. Gardner for Gardner Webb. 2.42 to go. Hampton's lead is 71 to 59. Got a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Want to give a quick shout out to a special fan watching here on ESPN Plus, Morgan Fortune. Thank you for tuning in. And Joe, let's look around the conference. We got two games here at half. UNC Asheville with a one point advantage over Longwood, 36 35. And Winthrop was trailing early, but they've come back to take a six-point advantage over Campbell, 39 to 33. So, still two more games coming later this afternoon into the evening here on ESPN Plus. Bradford will be at Presbyterian, and South Carolina Upstate will be in High Point, North Carolina, taking on the Panthers of High Point. Hampton's going to be, uh, hopefully, if nothing crazy happens. In the next 242, we're going to be starting the season off 3-0 and and looking to take control of that first place position in the Big South. Yeah, it's a log jam of right now four teams at 2-0. and Terry in the lane, got to step through, and the layup is good. Might have got away with the oh, travel the there, but yeah, 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 the, the refs didn't want to call that one. 222 to go. That's Terry again. Trying to wheel his team back into this game. Pirates looking to slow it down here. Want to work the clock as the clock is their friend. Godwin dribbles into a double team. Ball is kicked around, comes back to Terry. Selden to the basket. He'll slam it down. Warren wisely backs away. Doesn't want to stop Selden. the clock. Lead down to eight for Hampton. Everyone's trying to think, hey, Selden in the that? lane. Selden, where was that a little while ago? It looks like Warren is going to reward himself with some free throws. Gardner with foul on number 23, Anthony Selden, is second. That's going to be the second Ten on Selden. 10 team foul. So it'll be an automatic two free throws here for Davion Warren, who has been half of a two-man attack here for Hampton today. Warren with 25, 11 of 20 from the floor. Make him 26 now. He's two of five from the three-point line, two for three for free throws. And the other half of that duo here today, Chris Shelton, 22 points, eight of 10 from the floor, six of seven from three to go along with five rebounds. When they, whenever you have a two-headed monster like that, Matt, it's, it's going to be hard to, to win a game, especially if your entire team is not really doing much of anything. And Warren, one of the league's leader in steals, just came away with a very impressive one along the baseline as we hit the 90-second mark. Deuce Dean going to look to create, and they're going to get Sears with a blocking foul. And Deuce Dean will head to the free throw line to shoot two more. Again, the freshman in, in uh, Jordan, Webb foul, number two, Jordan, Jordan Sears. Sears. He's Sir. just being overly aggressive right now and causing fouls just kind of for no reason. There's no reason that you should be fouling at this late in the game being down by 10 points. Deuce Dean, free throw, good. Deuce Dean with... 
three points, but more importantly, 14 assists for Deuce Dean. That ties him for fourth place with Jermaine Mara, who did 14 points versus Charleston, Charleston, Charleston Southern, if I could get it out. Earlier this year, I was actually on January 4th of 2020. Three, no good. Rebound controlled by Chris Shelton. That's the sixth rebound for Shelton. Give and go with Warren. And the Pirates will play keep away here as we reach one minute. One minute. One minute left in this competition. Deuce Dean finds Godwin. Ten seconds. Godwin skip past Bannister. Pirates continue to just swing it around the perimeter. Dean will be fouled by Sears. And Coach Kraft is saying, why now? Why foul him with just four Jordan seconds left? Two, and Deuce Dean will go back to the free throw line. He's inexperienced, man. But just again, 27 points for Davion Warren. 22 for Shelton. Anthony with 10 points off the bench. Knocked down some big three-pointers here in today's ball game as Deuce Dean gets the shooter's roll on that first free throw. Lenat will return to the floor for Gardner-Webb. He'll replace, I believe, Sears. These two teams will be right back at it tomorrow, 12 noon tip-off on New Year's Eve. Close out 2020 here with us with Big Shot Basketball, ESPN Plus, and a near turnover. Terry splits, gets all the way to the bucket, and a timeout called by Gardner-Webb. What's Lance Terry. If we wrap things up here in Hampton, Pirates 28 of 62 Full from the floor for 45%. Gardner -Webb. Gardner Webb 19 of 64 for just under 30%. Pirates shooting 46% from three, Joe. 10 of 22. Gardner Webb 6 of 30 for 20%. The only reason this game is as close as it is, Gardner Webb has outshot. Hampton from the free throw line there, 19 of 25, Hampton now 9 of 13, and the overwhelming majority of these free throws for Hampton coming here in these last few minutes. At one point, Hampton had only attempted five free throws in the whole game. That just goes to show you what type of offense they were running. Matt, they were shooting everything from outside from the first half, and they were converting. So, I mean, hey, if your outside game is working, you don't necessarily need to go inside. And as soon as Gardner Webb switched over to start playing zone, Cancer. Hampton broke that zone and started scoring from inside. So it, you, they really couldn't do anything to stop Hampton today. But the Pirates were on a roll from the first half, and they, they kept it going through the second half, and here we are, 75-65 with 40 seconds left. 40.1 to go. It's a 10-point advantage. Hampton looking like they will start 3-0 for the first time in Big South play in uh, their very short history of being members of the Big South. Warren, he said, coming into the game, fourth over on the conference and scoring at 17.6. Well, he's met that mark and then some. Also leads the conference with just under three steals a game. Full court press. Pirates get it into Warren, who was fouled, and he'll head to the free throw line where he can add to his total. 27 points, two steals for Warren. Gardner with a foul on number 11, Nick Lenat, his second. Foul on Lenat, his second. Bulldogs already over 10 team fouls, so two free throws here for Davion Warren. One more on the way for the six foot six senior out of Buffalo. Give him 29. Just about a nine second difference between game and shot clock. So the Pirates will look not to foul here. And as I say that Shelton, a little too close to Lance Terry. And I believe Lance Terry put on a bit of a acting job as he fell backwards. Not even someone said it was a foul. Just don't put yourself in a position right. to be called for a foul. Right. 
especially with, with this amount of time left. You got this lead. Don't, don't send him to the line, especially Lance Terry. You know he's going to knock these down. So far, he's done just that. One more on the way. Terry goes three for three. Give him 26 points. Pirates draw the foul as Marquise Godwin will now head to the free throw line. Foul will be on Goofy off. They're going to be banking on the Pirates going to the line and missing these shots. 23, Anthony Selden, his third. I know, check that, it's on Sheldon, his third. Remember, Hampton on the season is only shooting about 67% from the free throw line, so. And Godwin misses the first. Makes the second. Nine cents of a second differential between the game and the shot clock. Lynette is going to draw the foul. Shelton. This is what the Pirates cannot do. Because now if, foul, if, 12, Chris Shelton, his third. if Lynette comes down here and knocks down these two shots and Gardner-Webb is able to get some stops on the other end, now we have a game. First free throw, no good. Uh. Looks like Shelton... Well, never mind. Looked like he may have been hurt on that drive, but he waves off the trainer. Second free throw is good. Sears will return to the floor. A little offense to defense with Lamont. 78-69, 24.8 seconds to go. Full court press from the Bulldogs. They get it into Davion Warren, and he'll be fouled. Gardner 23 foul, seconds remaining. Ludwig Dufiel, his fourth. Dufiel call for his fourth. Going to be two more free throws here for Warren. Warren right now sitting at 29 points. Free throw is good. He hits 30. 30 points from Davion Warren. 14 assists from Deuce Dean. And six made three-pointers by Chris Shelton. So... A very balanced offensive attack for the Pirates. Three-pointer up, no good. Rebound, Warren. And he will look to hold. All he needs to do is cross half court. And Coach Kraft telling his guys to fall back. No need to foul. And this will wrap it up from Hampton. It's a final 80 to 69. And that's your ball Pirates final score. take the Hampton W in game one of this two-game series. It'll pick back up tomorrow right here at 12 p.m. Last wrap up, Davion Warren finishes with 31 points, 22 for Shelton, 10 for tomorrow, Anthony, and for the run, Bulldogs, 26 well for Terry. Second leading score, Cornwall with nine. That'll wrap it up here from Hampton as I'm being assaulted by Coach Joyner in celebration here. <laughs> we both had a good little laugh there. <laughs> but that'll wrap it up here for the crew here on ESPN Plus, my broadcast partner, Joseph Walters. We'll see you tomorrow, 12 o'clock, right here on ESPN Plus.